Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily video. Um, in this video, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my predictions for the future as, you know, what events and what things may be coming to Monster Super League. Um, this is actually based on some of the patterns I've seen in the past of some of the things they did before. So, this isn't 100%. But, you know, I've been watching like all the events, all the event times pretty closely, as well as some of the things that they basically announced that might give hints to what they're planning to do in the future. Um, I thought that was a pretty, this was a pretty good idea to put into my daily video because I think in the future I can definitely, whenever there's like a little bit of news, I can actually talk a little bit about it during my daily video. It might be a pretty good idea. So, um, before I get started, I actually wanted to do one thing really, really quickly because someone actually requested that I, I do this. Um, basically show the gems of my Dragon's B10 team. So, I'll start with my Light Medusa, who is on Ruin with attack or crit rate attack and crit damage. And it's, um, you know, max crit. Actually has over max crit, but it's a pretty good gem set. It's on Ruin, so can't really go wrong with that. Um, Dark Victoria, who is on Intuition with Attack, um, Crit Rate, and Defense. The one slot defense is to tank one hit from the Light Persephone. She doesn't have 100%, but 99 is basically close enough. Doesn't really, doesn't really mess up. I've had her mess up like once before, but it's not, it's not too bad. Um, the Thor is kind of on the same boat as her. Basically the same exact gem set with Crit Rate, Defense, and Attack just to take one slot from the light purse also with 99% crit um, my dark Katito does have 100% crit on intuition with double attack and um, and crit rate basically to help me kill the dragon at 60% health so yeah that's pretty much it for my dragon team I just want to show that really really quick because someone requested that I do that um, in the comments so uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is probably the thing that's going to be coming very very soon and that is going to be another light dark package now if you don't know what this is it's basically a package that they had before um, they had it twice during the last month and it was the first time they actually did that it started with the light succubus package and the second one was the dark tiger package so the set the the package basically was 300 astral gems each and if you buy it or actually no it was 400 astral gems each and if you buy it 15 times, it will give you this, um, like the other version of the the final monster. So it, for the first one, it gave us a Dark Succubus, who isn't very, very good. Um, but basically what what you could do with a Dark Succubus is you can use, they give you this like extra special Light Gleam or Dark Gleam. And you basically fuse the Succubus with a Dark Gleam to get the Light Succubus. So in total, you basically... It basically, you're buying a Evil 3 Light Succubus for um, 6,000 Astro Gems. That's basically what, what I had to spend to, to get this monster. Um, for the second one, they gave us the Dark Tiger, and it's kind of like in reverse. So instead of like getting the Dark Monster, you, it came with the Light one first, and then you can fuse the Light one into the Dark one. Um, so you're basically, you're spending 6,000 Astro Gems for an Evil 3 version of, a, of the Dark Tiger. And, and I actually didn't go for this pack because I already had a Dark Tiger, so I didn't really need to do that. And he's not really um, a monster on my priority list, so I didn't, didn't really go for it. Now, they had the first one on um, May 8th. And the second one on, I think it was like the 20, I, I forget what the exact date was. I think it was like 22nd or something like that. Um, but basically, I think if they're following the same pattern as they did before, there's a very, very high chance that, um, that they're going to be releasing a new monster, like a new fusion. And probably since the last one was dark, um, this one's going to be light. And I'm actually predicting that it's going to be the the Light Loki because um, a few patches ago they actually buffed four light and dark monsters, uh, four types of light and dark monsters. They buffed the Wild Things, they buffed the Lokis, they buffed the Succubus, and they buffed the Tigers. Um, well, actually, they only buffed the Dark Tiger and they they buffed the Light Succubus and they buffed um, both the Light. Well, actually, they kind of nerfed the Dark Loki in my opinion. The old one was kind of stronger. They basically reworked him. And they buff the light Loki, and um, they buff the light wild thing as well as the dark wild thing. So th those four monsters got buffed. 
And two of the monsters that were buffed were actually in these packages. So what I'm predicting is that the next monsters that are going to be released in this, these packages are going to be the either be the light Loki or the um, light wild thing. Now this is a hundred percent just guessing because you know I basically had to kind of follow a pattern in the past. Um, two can't really make a pattern if there's like if they're if they release this one, I think um, there's a much much higher chance that the, like for example, if they if this one actually is the light Loki, there's probably a much much higher chance that the next one's gonna be you know the the wild things. Um, now the reason why I think it's there's a higher chance for it to be Loki than wild thing is because usually the 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 fusion version of the monster is is like um, generally regarded as the stronger version. Um, so for for example, the succubus. The, the light one is b pretty much better than the dark one, so they give you the dark one, you have to fuse the dark one into the light one. So since the other one was dark, I'm thinking maybe this one's going to be light. And since the light Loki is probably, in my opinion, um, and probably like in the general opinion, um, more useful, more valuable than the dark Loki, that, that it probably will be like, you know, fusing the dark Loki into the light Loki or something like that. Um, and also with the wild thing, I think um, you know most people do. I, the both the light and dark wild thing are kind of kind of even. They're both really really strong, and I think more people think the dark wild thing is stronger. I'm not too sure. I think the like majority of the opinion is the dark one is stronger because she's like a very strong nuker, and people like nukers. So I I think there's a probably a slightly higher chance that it's going to be Loki. I could be completely wrong. And I, it could be some other like random monster like that is nothing to do with the Lokis or the wild things. Um, but it's just a kind of a theory I came up with because they basically released the monsters that were buffed before, and the other two monsters that were buffed were the Lokis and the wild things. And that's why I think it's more likely that it's going to be these two monsters um, for the next package. Now they might not even release a new package, but you will know on the eighth um, during the first month when they first released the light succubus package they actually gave us a like a two day notice before they actually had the package come out and i think they believe that 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 was a mistake because a lot of players basically just didn't really spend money buying astrogens for the package they they instead just went into um you know they started sliming and started farming like mad it was kind of yeah it was it was actually um when i started talking about sliming as well i started uh, you know making i made that guide when the light succubus came out for you know how to slime to get astro gems because that was that was when i was like trying to hardcore slime i basically went and farmed really really hard um farmed astro gems really really hard to to get the light succubus if you're new and you have no idea what the hell i'm talking about you can check out this um one of my videos i actually made two videos talking about basically infinitely farming astro gems so you know this the premium currency in this game is actually infinitely farmable so and that's one of the really, really good things about this game. It basically makes this game, like, not pay to win. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. But they, they kind of realized that was a mistake, because everyone, after knowing that it was the Light Succubus, because basically, well, if they're close to 6,000, they can basically farm up to 6,000. Like, if they're halfway there, and they go really, really hard, they can, um, if they not only do the sliming, but also try to complete the Astro Guide, which is like, you know, the first time you get a monster, you get certain Astro Gems. If they did that, then they were they were able to basically get to 6,000 Astro Gems and get the Light Succubus. So I think they realized that was a mistake, and they weren't making any money. So during the package for the Dark Tiger, they only, um, they basically announced the package on the day that the package actually came out. And it only lasted two days, meaning that most people didn't really have time to... Um, farm up gems if they didn't prepare in advance. So I'm telling you guys right now that like um, you know it, it's gonna happen right at the time of recording this video it's on the 6th so on the 8th there's a very very high chance that there's gonna be a new package out. So that, that's just some of the things I'm predicting. Now the, the other thing I'm predicting is um, they're actually they actually released this news for an exotic event. I'm not sure if I can see it here. I think it those say like burning time or something like that. Okay, actually isn't here. But basically, um, they they released news of you know the the event where it's like double XP or encounter rate up 
and stuff like that. And there was actually on the also on the eighth on on June eighth, um, there has been an encounter rate up for like um, you know event monsters, like an event monster encounter rate up, which kind of leads me to believe that the the event monster is going to be coming out on that day. Now, in a previous post. Um, the developers of this game said that they were going to be re-releasing some of the old monsters in previous events. And I think there, there's a very, very high chance that it's going to be one of the old mo older monsters. This way it gives them more time to start working on stuff because they're, they already say, said they're starting to work on like clan PvP and all that stuff, which probably takes a lot of time to develop. So kind of to give us players um, something to work towards while they don't really have to develop anything to, you know, give us this <laughs> treadmill to run on. Um, they can start, you know, re-releasing old events. Now, the old, there were actually only, um, there's actually four, I think, four really big capture events. There was the Gatitos, the, um, the Jacks, the Snowies, and the, um, you know, the Venus events. And since the Venus one was, like, really, really recent, there, it's very, very unlikely that they're, they're, well, actually, the penal event kind of counts, but they're they're only like three stars, so it's not. I don't know. It kind of feels like the penal is not a real event, but it kind of is at the same time. Um, but yeah, the, so there's. It's very unlikely that it's going to be the penal or the Venus event because those were pretty recent, and they basically already recycled or re-released the. Dark Gatito event, or or any Gatito event, they re-released re the Gatito events. So now that the only the only events that they haven't re-released yet, um, like from before, is the Jack event and the the Snowy event. Now both these events are really really good because especially for newer players, um, actually for newer players I think the Jack event is actually slightly better because it gives new players access to a passive healer. Now the Dark Jack is really really nice. She basically does the same thing as a Water Persephone. Every time she attacks, she heals everyone for five percent of her health. She's also a tank type, unlike unlike all the other passive healers. She's actually the one with the highest HP pool, meaning that she also heals for a lot. She has Sap, which is actually very very good for B10 because you know B10 boss has a lot of HP. Also pretty good for B9 as well because B9 boss also has a lot of HP. So you know Sap's quite nice on her. I think she's a really really good monster for. For new players, obviously, if you play the game for a long time, then she really isn't all that useful. But you know, if you if you just join the game and they release this event, um, try to try to get one. She's gonna help you progress through the game really really fast. And as for the light one, I think this is kind of like a late game thing. I think she's originally when she was re released, most people didn't really think much of her and really went for the dark one because most people were actually progressing through the game. Now that we're all in the late game, I think uh, the light one's probably more valuable for the late game players. She's basically like a light version of the dark Mona with a SP siphon, or not SP siphon, um, morale boost with um, Hunter. So that's actually quite nice if they do decide to re-release the, these events. Um, you know, they're, th both those monsters are going to be very, very good for, for most players. Now, the other ones they can release are the snowy events. Now, the snowy event, I think most people really do want a light snowy or maybe want multiple of light snowies because, um, you know, a lot of people are running light snowies for, for like double light snowy for Golem's B10 and getting really, really fast runs. She's a really, really nice healer. She's basically like an attacker slash healer because the more she hits, the more she heals her team. So you can. She's really, really good for speedruns because you want damage for speedruns, but you also need sustain. So she basically serves the healer role as well as um, being an attacker as well. So that she's a really, really good monster. Um, the dark one I think is pretty good for. I think could could work somewhat well for Titans because of the attack down. Stun isn't really useful, so you know it's not it's not that good. But she is like balance type, so she has like pretty pretty good stats actually. None of it really went into recovery because recovery is the the shitty stat that you you don't you don't want to roll into. So um, you know stat wise, I think the Snowies are definitely really really nice. Um, so yeah, I think I think what's gonna happen is I. I'm kind of thinking they're probably going to... I have a feeling, I, I really don't can't explain why. I, I have a feeling that they're probably going to re-release the Snowy first before the Jack. Because um, 
I don't think there's a really good way to release the jacks. If they do the same event as before where you, you can capture light and dark jacks, then it might be possible for people to farm a lot of jacks, or it might be very, very difficult for people to like make an evil three jack because of how how difficult it was to farm them in the first place. Um, but the snowy event, what they could do is they can do something similar to the Gatito event. In the Gatito event, they basically let everyone farm the fire Gatitos, and you can only do the fusion ones to make the dark Gatito. So I think what what they could do is maybe um, since there's a there's a water version of the snowy. They could basically make these like infinitely farmable and then um, you know limit players fusion to like only one snowy or something like that. Um, that. That could definitely be possible and it would be somewhat fair because I think the developers are learning that you know if you let players have as many event monsters as possible like they can really abuse that and you know just do, do some really really crazy shit. Um, I don't really mind. I don't really need an another snowy, but I'll definitely grab one if if it does come around. So it, it it will be pretty nice for me as well. So yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of um, my predictions for the near future. In two days, at the time of recording, it is on it is the sixth right now. So on the eighth, you guys will know if I'm right or wrong, and. <laughs> But I, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and start preparing um, in case that you guys you guys don't have your resources ready. Like, if you're low on astrogen, start sliming now, and maybe um, the monster on the eighth. Like, if you really want a low key, or possibly a wild thing, or possibly something completely different that you know I I did not predict. Um, then you should definitely do that and also get a bit of astrogems as well because you might have to start um, farming for exotic monsters and farming scenario maps does actually burn through your astrogems a little bit so that's actually something to to watch out for as well so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, just kinda wanted to give you guys my predictions for for the next um, events and next package that's gonna be coming out and we'll see very very soon if I'm right or wrong so that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.